Hey everybody, I'm Blitz, welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This is the totally accurate, totally, I mean 100% scientifically accurate, 100% sarcasm on there as well. So this is um, another episode where we're going to do some more viewer challenges and viewer uh, suggestions. So if you do have a challenge like Nicholas Games has, then go ahead and leave them down below. So Nick gave us this suggestion to do 20 boxers and three chariots, which we have over here, against one poacher, two boxers, one footman, and 30 peasants. That's pretty specific, and you guys seem to agree with them, and I, I like it. So I spread out the peasants and everything around here. We have the boxers and the chariots in sort of a formation. We're going to see how this goes. I really don't know. I have a feeling that... Oh, wow, they spread them out. Oh, no, they didn't spread them out. <laughs> There's Dave. Dave with the sword again. Oh, uh, the peasants are going after... Ooh, so this is going to be the problem. Oh, Dave. Dave. Dave's getting a ride of his life. Oh, Dave's still alive. Go, Dave. I think our poacher... Yep, yeah, poacher's dead. Oh, this is a problem for Dave. Get him, Dave. Get him. Knock him dead. So they have to kill the horse. Oh, don't group up. That's the worst thing. Dave, Dave, you're the... Oh, Dave's going to be the only hope for the land of the blue people. Hey, hey, they killed one. Here it comes. Get it. Oh, oh, that was so close. That was so close. Dave almost won. And I want to do it like multiple times because I think this is pretty cool. Uh, where is the poacher? The poacher is way back here. Let's see what he does. Let's kind of zoom in on him. I'm hoping he takes out... Oh, 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 oh. I almost got ran over. Oh, they got one of the chariots. There it goes. Oh, Poacher. Oh, Poacher's down. Dave, where's Dave? There's Dave. Dave's got the sword. Dave's going to get messed up. Hmm. There it goes. Oh, Dave just beheaded the... the I was going to call it a cat. <laughs> I don't know if cats can... Oh, do it again. Oh, he did it. He did it. Blue. Good job, Dave. Oh, he's still alive, too. He threw his sword and he's still alive. That was, that was kind of cool. I didn't realize the footman could uh, kill the chariots like that. And he just took out two all by himself. Dave? You okay? Hey, buddy. You're not Dave. <laughs> Dave's dead. Uh, looks like Red's gonna wipe the floor with this one. I don't think peasants can really do a very good job taking out the the horsies. Yep, there it is. Red victory. So, I mean, if Dave dies right away, then it's pretty much a red team victory. So here's another suggestion by Preston Plays Fan. This is to do one shield and 20 footmen against six shields and 14 spearmen. So I figured I'd kind of try to let the spearmen get behind the shields and then they're going to march into the footmen over here. My money's still on the footmen are going to win. What, is, what do you think? Which one do you think is going to win? I think, yeah, and they didn't drop their spears, so I lined that up pretty nicely. Ooh, it kind of stopped. Maybe not. No, there's no way that there's no way the spearmen can win this. There's no way. Nope. Footmen are just way, way too powerful. I got rid of a bunch of footmen. Let's see how this goes. I think this will be a little bit closer. I don't know what the spear guy is doing. <laughs> hey, there goes the sword. Yeah, this is this is a little closer. Huh. I mean, that was pretty nasty. So how about the conga line? Let's see if the spearmen can kill off 20 footmen in a row. They're going to walk in circles. We do have the spearmen up top in front. <laughs> I love how they get their swords stuck together. <laughs> this stupid conga line. Dun -dun 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 oh, they split up. Roar. Ooh. Yep, this is going to be quite nasty. I think blue team's got this. Oh, man. Look at that. March has won. Oh. Here it comes, it's like a missile. A spearman, or a, a, a footman missile. They're gonna chase down this nerd. Get him. Yep. Oh, who's left? <laughs> They're still stuck together. What a bunch of ding dongs. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> They're holding it. He's holding on. It's like, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Let me go. So that got me thinking what would a footman versus a spearman conga line look like? Oh, some of these guys still drop their spears. They don't really form too good of a conga line, they just kind of... <laughs> I love it how the red team just kind of derps out and goes wherever they want to. And then the blue team just piles up in a big puddle of, of death. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see him throw a sword? That thing threw forever! We got two left. And they've crossed their, their pokey sticks. Pokey stick, a stick that pokes. Not a Pokemon stick. No, there is no such thing that I know of. A pokey, like you poke with it. A spear is a pokey stick. P O 
K E Y, not not the other way. Couldn't quite fit 20 of them in there, but I wanted to see if we can get a conga line of spearmen going. Kind of looks like it, a little bit anyway. No, because they bring their their spears to the side, and they still kind of group up on each other. Oh, he's down. He's down. We just killed two of our friends, and now we've made. Ouch. That's a really nasty battle. I think, well, red team does have like a seven person advantage here. Oop. Still have our shield guy. Look at these little ding-dongs. They don't have their, oh, take them down. No, don't get hit, don't, don't do it. Oh, wow. Do you see him just chop the head? That was gross. Okay, so this next one's kind of an interesting idea. Let's do a balloons tower defense type thing. Put cannons and catapults all around with a ballista in back. That will represent the last defense. On the other side, put horizontal lines of footmen to represent the balloons, as in balloons. They come in lines across the whole field. That is by a Killer Dinosaur 246. So we're gonna try this out. Uh, it might take some balancing to get going. I've got the cannons and the the chair or the catapults all around here, and then this is a ballista. <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah. So they're not gonna be able to actually walk through it like a catapult. Yeah, and they're kind of dumb. Oh, that's messy. That's oh, that didn't that did not go well. The balloons have been scattered. Oh, it might go okay though. Check it out. Dave's coming up here. Get it, Dave. He's just chopping. Oh, yep. That doesn't work too well for Dave. Uh, do you see that? The catapult did like a 360 no scope sort of thing going on. Turned around in circles and killed the guy directly. Yes, and they're hiding. Oh, what a dirty kill. This is Dave. This one on the right is Dave. Dave's dead. No! Ha! He's playing dead. Oh, I think that was a I think that was a cannon hit him. Oh, -ho, he can do it. Ouch. You got killed by the last tower, buddy. Right in the leg. How about 60? Let's up it to 60. I did. I changed some more settings in my, my game files, so I'm hoping I get a little better frame rate. Oh, these can yeah, the catapult balls are gonna hit him directly. Rocks, whatever they're called. Look at this guy, he's just being carried. Carry my way into my victory, my friends. Let me hold your arm. Oh, he's dead. He was dead in the first place. Let's see, how is it going? Oh, wow! Hit that bowled him like 12 guys down. Ooh, that was a nasty hit, too. Climbing over. They're jumping. It's like orcs coming over the walls of Helm's Deep. We can do this. That's That was not the way to do it, though. Hey, he died. How did that thing die? I wasn't... I'm staring at it directly, and then the cannon just dies. Ooh, nice shot. You have to go get this cannon in the back. Get the cannon. You're stuck on the... Dude. It's always fun in games until you get your sword stuck in a tire. <laughs> oh, there you go. We got a little boost right in the butt. Oh, right in the back too. Following your sword. Now this guy, he's in trouble as well. <laughs> Is he free? He's free. Who's still alive? <laughs> this cannon's like, I'm gonna get him. I'm so... Where, where are you supposed to... Where... Uh oh. Not gonna watch that. Let's try it again. I like watching this first, like, volley go. Especially when it hits a big line of people. Ooh, like that one. That's pretty good. Are these guys gonna get hit? I hope somebody's targeting them. Oh, looks like uh, we got a tryhard up here. He's going to town. Just hacking and slashing. Ouch. He died. Tryhard didn't work so well. Nice. Hey, can't I can't see nothing. Can't. There we go. Where where's blue guy? Wiggly string monster. Everyone's just chilling up here. There, here we go. Here's here comes Dave. Get him, Dave. Get him, Dave. Whoa. It didn't work so well. What's this catapult doing? <laughs> I love this ground. I'm gonna throw a rock at it. Doop. Wait a minute. Is this is this cannon still alive too? I think it is. What do we have left? Oh, he got it! He got it! Looks like red team's gonna win. Or blue team. I'm not even colorblind. I wonder if these guys are gonna die. Yeah, this cannon's dead. They're alive too. Let's watch this. I hope this kills them. It, it didn't. Sort of. Oh, we got it! 
Very good, blue victory. That one was a lot of fun. I'm gonna watch from the uh, red perspective this time. How about the cannons? Whoa, bowling for bad dudes. <laughs> Get him! Oh, that was a really good shot. I love watching a cannon just rip through a, a whole big line of people. We need to do that. Maybe maybe have three cannons and see how many cannons can take down a, like a big fleet of guys with swords. Or like, yeah, that'd work out, right? All right, Ballista. You're the last defense of this tower. Man, this game could be really, really cool with like tower defense mechanisms in it. Like a castle siege. Can you imagine a castle siege too? Where a, a big wall up and then you... Why are you firing way over there? Uh, a big a big wall built up and then you have to bring your catapults to tear down the wall and all sorts of cool stuff. This guy, he's got messed up again. Hm. Oh, blue victory. Looks like blue is victorious in this. Okay, let's try this out. We have three cannon crew against 98 footmen. Let's see what happens with it. Uh, these guys are all going to turn to the right, so I put these guys up front. Oh, there they go! They're going to go to the right. Here it comes. <laughs> wow! Oh, that was a good shot! They're going to break it up! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, some guys got in. Why? Are, what's... Hey, buddy, what's up with your leg? Um... Not good. <laughs> See how far that guy flew? Oh, we only have one left. They're not... They're not... Uh, Cannon, those guys are not a problem. It's that one you have to worry about. Yeah, that didn't go so well. So I'm gonna go with one thing my dad taught me growing up. If life gives you problems, I always use cannons and lots of cannons. That, that really isn't what my dad told me growing up. Oh! See, but that is a lot more fun when you have a bunch of cannons going. Except when you can't see because the wild spaghetti monster's in the way. Stop it! Stop being dumb, game! Stop! No! I can't! We can't see! Uh-oh. Now they're in a line. They're gonna kill each other. Oh! Back up! Get it! Get it! Oh, that was a good shot. Get it! No, 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 no! Oh, you're... Hmm... How many... How many cannons will it take to get these guys? Let's try it again. I added a couple more cannons. Oh, they're... That was pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, they're flying like crazy. There it goes. Oh, that was a cool shot with the cannonball in the air. Ah, and then we just took out most of our cannons, took each other out. That's one problem. Ooh, ooh, get him! Get him! Oh, that was cool! Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. We might have this! We might, red team may win! We got two cannons left? Uh oh, uh oh, get it! Ouch. Oh, he's dead. One more shot, one more shot! You can do it. Middle guy, middle guy, get the middle guy. Oh, you missed. You're done now. Oh, that was good. Ah, so close. <laughs> Look at how high he is. Whee! I really think Red Team can win this. Uh, as long as they get a couple more really good shots to begin with. Like this. Ooh, that was nice. That's beautiful. See, if they, as soon as they turn, they start attacking each other. That was good. That was good. This is not good. Now we're killing each other. Yep. Well, we got three in the back today on this run. Oh, man. Take them out. Take them out. There's a big puddle. Or a big pile of guys here. It's a very blurry shot today, isn't it? Uh-oh. These two. They're flanking. They're flanking. Ah, blue victory again. It, it's just not possible. So, we're going to do what my dad told me one time when I was growing up. He goes, son, you're ever having problems in life. Use more archers. He didn't say that. That's, that. That'd be kind of a weird thing for a dad to say. <laughs> They're running away! Hey, wait! Oh, they have pokey sticks in their back. Not, well, not literally pokey sticks. They have arrows in their back. This is this could be really nasty. We have a whole bunch of archers, and archers are terrible. I have a feeling that blue team's still gonna win. Look at it! They're just chopping them down! Get him! <laughs> oh, man! Get it dead! Look at this. Oh, right in the back. Oh, they picked him up. Get dead. Get dead, archers. Look at how many... Look how many arrows are in these guys. Wait, we still have one cannon. Oh, that was a good shot. Wait, wait. That might have been enough distraction. Come on, come on. Oh, a headshot. Get it, get up. Nice hit. And you're done. Hmm. <laughs> that was fun anyway. 
I'll tell you about that, guys. That is going to do it for today. If you have any really cool ideas down below in the video description or in the comments, go ahead and leave them for me, and I'll do the best I can to get them into a game. Go ahead and upvote the other ones that you enjoy, too. And thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.